Welcome back, Knuckleheads, to another episode of Undertale. And I'm kind of like somber about this. Just, I don't know if that's the right word, but um, we have to figure out something to do with Asgore. And basically, not fighting him last time was not a very effective effort here. Ready? So he's going to take it out again here. And it has more attacks. So we want to act through some of this, I guess. So it does help. You tell Asgore that he's killed you once before. He nods sadly. Whew, okay. You tell Asgore that you don't want to fight him. His breathing is funny for a moment. Okay, so I survived that one. You firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes. Asgore attacks drop. His defense drops. Okay, so I've taken some damage. I'm gonna eat the pie. And here's the reason. I did some looking into this. Um, the pie actually helps you fight. Um, you ate the butterscotch pie. Your HP was maxed out. The spell reminds Asgore of something. Asgore's attack drop and his defense drops. So, move, move. I move. Okay. Talk. Seems talking won't do any good more. So now I can't do much else. I have to fight him. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Dang it. I am not good at timing that shit. Cause I don't have to do it. Okay. I got hit twice, but I should be fine. I have the Temi armor, so we should be good. Don't move, don't move, move. Sweet. Alright. <clears throat> ah. I, I did not get that right. Ooh, nice hit. Direct hit. <clears throat> ah! I'm gonna fight him one more time. And see where we can go from here. Ah, okay, that's fine. Okay, I need an item. Starfire. That gives me 14, so that's fine. Don't move, don't move, move. Sweet. Okay, now I gotta fight him. Ah. Ooh, nice. Oh, hey. Uh, ah, dang, I miss. Okay, that works. That's fine. Ooh. Ah. Okay, doing okay, I'm doing okay, just over half right now. Ooh, direct hit, nice. Oh, come on. Ah, got that last hit in. And we get some direct hits nice, which is, which is really nice. Move. Ah, it's hard when you, you gotta move, don't move, move. Yeah, I got plenty of time right now. Let's see if I can avoid using more of my items if I can. Ah! Okay. Ah! Okay, that's fine. I gain some health from. Every once in a while, I gain a little health from it, so. That's good. Item. That's a hot dog. Nice. Only got one hit in, so. <laughs> okay. Ooh! Nice direct hit. How did I get hit there? 
Oh well, it's fine. We're doing some big damage now. I'm still getting nicked. We're doing more damage as we go along, so it might go quicker here now. So don't worry. Yep. Oh, I was supposed to move. Lose it over. Shit. We're getting there. Thanks. He has low HP. Can I talk to him now? Seems talking won't do any good. Shit. That was a bad moment to not attack there. Okay. Item, Starfot. He drinks Starfot. HP maxed out. That's good. Whoop. Okay. Okay. I love the Temi armor. It helps me out quite a bit. There we go. So we basically knocked him down. Ah. So that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. And the entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I saw that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place, never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But, I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This is, war has gone on long enough. You have to power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. After everything I have done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer they live happy on the surface. Human, I, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like Torrell, like a family. Oh, shit. You idiot. You haven't learned a thing. In this world, it's kill or be killed. <laughs> okay, so now we need to go back in. <laughs> so, let us reopen that game. Whoa. Okay. I guess let's continue. <clears throat> Whoa. It's me, Flowey. Flowey the flower. I owe you a huge thanks. You really did a number at a whole fool. Without you, I never could have got past him. But now, with your help, he's dead. And I've got the human souls. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> I've been never so long. It feels great to have souls inside me again. Hmm, I can feel them wiggling. 
Ah, oh, you're feeling left out, aren't ya? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six. So I'll need one more. Before I become God. And then, with my newfound powers. Monsters. Humans. Everyone. I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. Dude, that guy is freaking me out. Oh, and forget about escaping the old save file. It's gone forever. But don't worry. Your old friend Flowey has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death. So you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces. Over and over and over. What? Do you really think you can stop me? Hee! <laughs> You really are an idiot. Holy shit! What the fuck is that shit? Dear old <laughs> oh, oh, shit. I can already tell this is gonna be a problem. It's all just a bad dream. And you're never walking up. Okay. So. See y'all in the next episode, folks. God damn. If you like these videos, keep on uh, liking them. If you want to keep seeing more freaking weird-ass shit like this, uh, you can definitely subscribe today. Um, as always, guys, uh, keep on gaming and keep on having fun. Holy shit. Oof. Let's play this. We'll, we'll figure out how to beat this game, but we'll, we'll play again.